Here in front of me is all the tools that are required for bricklaying. You can see I've got my trowel, my hammer, my levels, I've got a shovel, I've got my trusty wheelbarrow, limel, cement and sand. So what we have to do first is set up our profiles. We've got our measurement on the wall. Uh, the builder supplied me with that measurement there. It was 1650 back off the wall. Now I'm using today just a, a bit of 9035 pine. Now generally for bricklaying we use 45 by 45 steel, but these are fine. Make sure they're straight, and if they're straight then they're right to use because that's what our, our brickwork's going to run off. So what we need to do is we stand that up. We need to have a packer to sit behind the profile so that we can get our string line in behind. Make sure that, that our line is visible through the back here. And then we're just going to clamp this to the wall. So I can see my line there, so now all I have to do is plumb down. Now, it is very important to make sure that the bubble is sitting dead center of the two lines. So that's bang in the middle, so I'm happy with that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the, the gauge on this profile, which is not really that important because we've got existing brickwork, but for the sake of the exercise, I'll show you what to do. So set the level to get the level off the brickwork. Just simply mark underneath the level. Then we're gonna take our gauge rod which I've already marked off the existing brickwork. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold that on that top level mark there, and then we're gonna transfer the rest of these. So it's the height of the brickwork. So we've got our profile set up. We'll duck our line in behind the profile. Now what we have to do for starters is we have to set up a level line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this with five courses above, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna go over to our other wall here, which is also completed and I need to count down five from the top so one two three four five so the line needs to be nice and taut and if there's a sag in the line then your brickwork's not going to be level. We've got my line set up so what I need to do to check that this concrete's level or, or close enough to level is I'll put my gauge rod here and I can see on my gauge rod that I need to get up or probably 20, 25 mil, which is, is not a big deal. I'll be able to do that easy enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this first brick with a, a larger bed than I'd normally lay I'm just going to pop him down there. I'm just using my eye for now to sight. But then I'll sit my gauge rod on top and that tells me that I've, I've probably got half of it there, which I'm pretty happy with. So I'm just going to get half to start with and then probably get the second half in the next course. So what I need to do now is just grab my level and I've just got to plumb down to make sure that, that that's in the right spot. That's essentially where I want to have it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to block this one down just put a bit of mud on the back of the brick. Just creates an angle so that the, the brick will sit forward and it'll hold the line down for me. Now you've got to be very gentle when you do this because you can actually knock the brick and then, then you'll lose, lose where you're at. Now I'm right to lay this first course. Now this bed uh, is a lot bigger than it, it would normally be so I'm going to need a little bit extra mud on the bottom. So you take up this much mud for buttering a brick, then just, just flick it back onto the trowel till it settles, and then it's, it stays onto the trowel nicely. Just a good strike and push down, like you're buttering a piece of bread, essentially. So push that down, you want about that much on there, and what, what's that's going to do is enable us to get the front and the back, and it'll have something to, to adhere to. So there you go, she's ready to go. So this comes up. We'll take him away, and then what we need to do is just fill that in, continue on with our bond. So what we're going to be left with here will be a three-quarter. So I've got a little notch there. Now what I want to do is make sure I've got my glasses on because chips can fly up and uh, cause some problems if they hit you in the eye. So nice and gentle as you're hitting it. Crack starts to appear, and there you go. Now because I've had to lift up the line on those last two bricks, I'll just check from a level just on top, which it should be pretty good, and it is. Just checking through the front as well. That's no worries. So now that we've laid our first course, we need to go back to where we were before so that we, we get our level line again. So we're coming back up to here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five again. We'll go back to our other end, do the same. And so we're sitting here, one, two, three, four, five, level line. So now, now that I'm laying this next dummy brick, I can actually lay this so that it's going to be in bond when I sit it in. So what I want to do is make sure that that perp underneath 
is sitting in the middle of this brick, which it just about is right now. Now I'm just using my eye to eye down the face of that. I will check that, but I'll do that first. I'll check. So we're getting very close now. So this this isn't essential to do this in, in two courses or in three courses, because we've got, you know, we've got another five above the line. We've got six above this. So if we grab two mil each course, we'll have it by the top. So you don't want to have a, you know, a big massive bed at the bottom and then and then go from there. Okay, so that's safe to go down again now. now. As you can see with the spreading here of the mortar, I'm just laying it down. I'm just picking up some excess stuff from the sides. So you, you, you get like a nice little triangle shape. And then you just go straight through the middle and just feather through it so that you get that nice pattern. And what that does is it, it creates that pocket, that air pocket in there so that it's nice and easy to lay, lay a brick on it. That's why it's called a bed because it's, that's the comfort that the brick gets when it sits down on top. So there you go, so that's got us out of the ground. We're now able to, to use our gauge at that end, which is right. We're able to use our already established brickwork at this end. So we're right to finish off our wall, five courses to go and we're done. More often than not, we lay half on brickwork. So it's one brick sitting on two bricks. So all the way through, it'll be, it'll be sitting half on. Okay, last brick going in now. Just as important as the first one. Here we go, all done.